Okay, so I want to talk about Venn diagram questions today. And to do that, first I want to give you a real simple setup that will show you one of the classic blunders people make, and also maybe give you some insight into how these questions are written in the first place, right? Um, so let's use, let's use, let's say we have three people. Let's say we have Adam, Ben, and Charles, right? Three boys, and they play sports. Adam plays baseball. We're going to use little B for baseball. Ben plays two sports. He plays baseball and soccer, and Charles plays only soccer, right? So it's probably not necessary with only three people, but we can represent this in a Venn diagram, right? So we're going to use this little circle for baseball, and this circle will be for soccer, and we know where we're going to put everyone, right? Adam only plays baseball. Ben plays baseball and soccer, so he goes in the overlap, and then Charles plays only soccer. Now, look what's going on here, and this is, this is the crux of the, the mistake people make. You've got two people who play baseball, and you've got two people who play soccer, right? But if I asked you a question, I said, all right, so there are two people who play baseball, and two people who play soccer, and there are two people who play only one sport, all right, so I'm going to write that over here. Two people, only one sport. How many people play both sports? So here's the classic mistake. People say, well, there's two baseball plus two soccer minus two who play only one sport. Well, that leaves me with two who must play both. And they circle that and they go on and they feel real good. But of course, there's only one person who plays only both. The problem is, when we said two baseball and two soccer, we double counted Ben, right? We counted Ben twice, and that's why we end up with two instead of one, which is the correct answer. And so what I'm going to do now is very quickly work you through the simple algebra for how this question should be solved with algebra, and then we'll get into a more intense question, right? So uh, allow me to do a little erasing here. So, so here's the algebra, right? Let's say I've got my baseball circle, I've got my soccer circle, and we've still got the same basic setup. We've got two people playing baseball, two people playing soccer, and two people playing only one sport. So we're going to say that's X, Y, and Z for the only baseball, the overlap, and the only soccer. Right, so here's what we know. We know we have got two people that play baseball. So we say x plus y, right, because that's everyone that's in the baseball circle, that equals 2. And then we do the same for soccer. We know two people play soccer, and that's y and z are in the soccer circle. So y plus z equals 2. And then I know that two people play only one sport. Well, that's x and z. So I can say x plus z equals 2, right? And I apologize that my 2s and z's look the same, but, you know, these are z's. We'll use little crosses here, and these are 2s. So... Um, we can solve this pretty easily by adding the first two equations together. And what happens if we do that? If we add the first two equations, we get x plus 2y plus z equals 4. And then I only want y because I want to know how many people play both. So I'm going to solve for y by subtracting the third equation. Right? If I subtract the third equation, I use these parentheses there to be clear what's going on. Subtract that third equation, and I'm going to lose my x, and lose my z, and lose 2 from here, so I'm going to end up with 2y equals 2, and y, of course, if 2y equals 2, y equals 1. And so you see in the algebra, too, y gets double counted. Our friend Ben over there gets double counted when you just add 2 baseball and 2 soccer, and that's why we end up having to divide by 2 at the end. Now, Let's try a question that's a little more like what you'd see on the SAT. So here's a question I wrote. In a certain neighborhood, 11 children play baseball and 13 children play soccer. If 16 of the children play only one of the two sports, how many children play both sports? Now, I usually recommend just back solving on a question like this. And I'm going to show you the algebra too, but I just want to very quickly remind you how cool back solve is. So let's draw a Venn diagram, right? This is our baseball and our soccer. Uh, and if I have 11 children playing baseball, so I know my baseball equals 11 in total, and I know my soccer equals 13 in total, how many uh, play both sports if 16 of them play only one sport? Well, when we back solve, we start with C, and we see what happens. C says that four people play both. Well, if four people play both, then 
the other, the, you know, the rest of the 11 baseball players is seven, right? And the rest of the 13 soccer players is nine. So does this work with what the question says? It says 16 of the children play only one of the two sports. How many play both? Well, nine and seven is indeed 16. So that worked. Four is the answer. Um, seven plus nine is 16. 16 children play only one sport. Four children play both. Back solve. Super easy. Very convenient. Um, you know, there you go. Okay, so the algebra. The algebra, as we did before, we're going to do an x, a y, and a z. And we know we can write these equations. We can say x plus y, that's my baseball players, that's 11. We can say y plus z, that's my soccer players, that's 13. And I know that x plus z, those are my people who play only one sport, x plus z, let me use these hash marks again just to be clear, x plus z is going to be 16. Now, remember what we did last time. We added the first two, and then we subtracted the last one, because that's how we're going to end up with y by itself. So by adding the first two, I get x plus 2y plus z equals 24. So then when I subtract the last equation, the x plus z uh, equals 16, I'm going to lose my x, I'm going to lose my z, and I'm going to lose 16 out of this 24. So that's going to get me 2y equals 8, and of course that means y equals 4. Lo and behold, I got the same answer I got when I back solved, only this time I did it with algebra. Um, you get to choose which you like better, back solving or algebra. My personal preference is back solving because I think it's fast and because it's applicable on more than just this kind of question. But if you like the algebra, you know, I'm here for you, man. So you do what you want to do. Okay, cool. Talk to you later.